What is up, YouTube? Al Hubrich, Hubrich Hall, Hubrich Review. I'm going to do a top five video. In the top five, uh, we're going to do the Nike Foam Posit, Posit, Nike Foam Posit, and Nike Foam Posit Pro. This is a Foam Posit Pro. It's got the jeweled swoosh, and this is the Nike Foam Posit, also known as the Penny Hardaway with the one cent logo. His first. Uh, debut shoe and the story behind this shoe right here is a uh, Eric Avar uh, designer of the Kobe's or whatever um, came up with this idea they were kind of in this experimental uh, phase uh, in 97 Nike was they had the shocks and all that so they wanted to come up with some crazy stuff so they went to this Korean man car manufacturer Daewoo and uh, decided to buy a mold I think uh, Estimate around 750,000 where they have this mold and they pour the liquid and they get this foam posit material um, It's very unique. I like it. It's kind of like the love it or hate it But these dropped in 97 for like 180 which is is crazy But the story with um, Penny Hardaway getting this shoe is uh, They were having a meeting because he was kind of in line to be like the next Jordan because Jordan's Pretty much finishing cementing his legacy back then finishing out his legacy so penny hardaway's new upcoming star with the commercials with chris rock and lil penny so anthony hardaway it's a amp fernie not anthony had the penny hardaway's uh they were having a meeting met up with the uh, avar and looking at shoes he's like ah no nah. and then he saw something in his bag he's like hey what, what are those and he was like yeah these are it this is the shoe right here and that's how it went down but they originally um proposed to scotty pippen and he was like nah man those those are trash i don't want them but uh they were kind of turn off back in 97 because they were 180 but for 180 you're getting this foam posit futuristic material looking shoe with the weird lace you're getting a full carbon shank plate uh, herringbone traction, full length air zoom inside, double stack heel. Like for back in the day, and the technology you're getting, and these hoop indoors and outdoors. These are these are like tanks. They're durable. I love this shoe. It's in my top five. I'll do a top five video here coming up. And these these are these are dope. Loving them. It's a difference between Deposit Pro and Deposit. Be basically the traction is different and uh, the jewel big Nike jewel symbol on the side where versus this uh, they also this was a team shoe before Hardaway got got to debut it with the, the Arizona Wildcats uh, Mike Bibby was a point guard there and he and, and his team debuted these shoes another cool story about these there was the blue orlando colorway and it was kind of like the same deal with michael jordan wearing his uh 11s without like nike he's michael jordan he's like mike's like don't wear them yet and he's like no nah, i'm wearing these these are hard so he wore them and with the the jordan band but it wasn't it was the airships but the jordan one breads with the team colors not matching up but anyways the orlando blue they weren't matching up but penny wanted to wear them so he took a black sharpie and colored in each stripe uh, so they released the Sharpie version, but that was a story with that. They were saying, now nah, you can't wear that. It's not enough black versus blue. So he just colored it in Sharpie and played with them. But there's a lot of cool stories with the shoe, with the foam posit. Like I said, you love them or hate them. The story behind these are dope. Um, out in the DMV area, we lived up there getting a pair of these. If you had these, they're called Dope Boys. He was selling drugs, $200 almost for a pair of shoes in 97. And to have these uh, would be that. Also, that with these shoes, it was just kind of outlandish for that, you know, that time frame. They were kind of futuristic. But they kind of fits the mold now. I mean, look at these uh, asteroids, the colors. You could do a lot with what they did. Uh, the top two shoes that were like the grails of the foam paws was the Paranormans and then the foam paws at Galaxies, which the soul glue in the dark and i don't know it's tight look at the picture um those were the top two grails but we'll get a close look i got uh three foam posit 
pros and then I got the OG phone pause and then I got I got some of my daughters we'll go look at like the fruity pebbles one is also deemed one of those grails but we got some phone posit pros we got some phone posits and this is the phone posit episode so let's take a close look in the Hoodrich Vision all right we are now into the Hoodrich Vision Looking at the Nike Foam Posit Pro right here in the Nike Foam Posit. Also, one of the dopest logos of a player. The one cent logo for Penny. Gotta, gotta love that. Gotta love the stitching. Love how the lacing system goes all the way down. How open it is. Where they use a suede type new buck material here. Only problem is it does crack through time. But you gotta love the little jewel. These are the elements of why it's in my top five. And and the carbon fiber. I mean it ain't it ain't fair. It's the real carbon fiber. The herringbone traction is the difference. Take a look at that and then the Posit Pro. You can see that. Yeah, these got some miles on them. They got some miles. It'll be a heel drag. Love to hoop in these. Um but if you do get them brand new, it's going to be heck of a break-in time. But once they break in, they mold to your feet pretty nice. Um, you all sweat in these, but the support is crazy. I always like to pull this all the way. I like how it goes all the way up because if you don't pull them up and tie it down tight, you will get some heel slippage. You see the inner booty there. There's full-length air zoom inside of this thing. And it's a beast, guys. Yeah, we get this one. This is in better condition here. The old platinum one. But like I said, with this material, they got cool graphics. The Spider-Man here. So you could just do some cool graphics with that and colors. A lot of yellowing. But these will last you. These are these are some tanks. Uh, 1997. We got the metal aglets for this one here. Nike swoosh in the back it says foam posit back there on the pros versus the regular foam posit where you just got the stripes and on the front it'll say Nike Air instead of the penny logo. Got the Nike Air there. Same love that jewel thing. And that Nike swoosh jewel. Nike swoosh in the back. But yeah, guys, I just want to show you guys a close look. Top five. I mean, you can't go wrong. Folding air zoom, freaking foam posit material. I think the latest thing they did was the LeBron 4s and the 6s. If y'all checked out LeBron 4, I'm wearing a ridiculous Stormtrooper mask. They added the foam posit, kind of updated it. They also had the flight posit. KG wore the flight posit. Um, Jason Kidd had a different version where they... Kind of only did certain sections for the lockdown. But, you know, as it evolved, you'd see it. But that's the OG, how it came. That's the little story. We'll go ahead and go on to the on foot. I just wanted to show you what they can do with the dope colorways here, guys. All right, let's go on to the on foot. Also, my daughter's phone posits here. She got the pros. This is her, like, iridescent. She loves these. Yeah, she wears them a lot. But you know, we'd be matching out the phone posits.
All right. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Hope you stuck through the whole thing. There's a lot to review here as far as colorways, but it's one of the dopest, sh dopest shoes in my top five of all time in the sneaker set. Uh, we'll do a top five video. Maybe I'll do a short real quick to show you the top five. But the Foam Posit, Nike Foam Posit Pro, legendary in the sneaker community. You either love them or hate them. Uh, they could come back. They can go and come back again and be popular. But either way, it's one of my favorite shoes of all time. Shout out to Penny Hardaway. Due to injuries... It sucks, but he was a beast. You After this, go watch some uh, Penny Hardaway highlights. He was nasty. You know, this is, this is before T-Mac, but he was a beast. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out for the top five video. And I might as well just review my top five shoes of all time. You already know Iverson's up in there. Thanks, guys.